All right, Brian, we all know you retired at 22, but uh, tell us about that one time you got laid off. <laughs> uh, it wasn't funny then. That's number one. I always tell people, I, I can't give you guys the name of the company, but the only real job I had coming out of my house was the Bank of America. And they called us into a room one day. And I was a, uh, I was a teller. I had an internship in college. They call us into this room and they go, Brian, we need to see you, Pamela, Steve, Paul, and Keisha. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, we've been doing a great job. Maybe all of our drawers balanced. And uh, they want to give us a bonus for being, you know, consistent as a new intern. And man, they, they brought us into a room and, and within two minutes, we realized that this program has ended and our jobs are officially over. And I had just got in my apartment. I never forget. I had my own little place and stepping out of my own sophomore year in college. And the first question that came to my mind was, how in the hell am I going to pay my rent? And I said to myself, God gave me the experience early for a reason. Why in the world am I asking myself, how am I going to pay my rent when a decision can be made with the stroke of a pen by somebody else who has nothing to do with your personal life and your whole world and personal life is turned upside down. And it was in that moment. You know, 22 years ago, as a teller, getting laid off while in college with a $610, my rent was $610, I never forget, 1995, rent $610, and my whole world shook. And I said, from that point forward, I was gonna end up shaking the world. So it's funny now, but it wasn't funny then, man. Everybody who has their beliefs and their life wrapped up into somebody else's decision-making capabilities, start taking a serious look at what you're doing on a daily basis and make sure you never get the rug snatched from you ever again.